nguvu katika ufuo wa mama hawamngana siwa lenyewe walitii nguvu za Bwana kutoka mbinguni litii sauti ya Bwana na ikaondoka na Yesu akatoka ndani hiyo ni kuonyesha kwamba mtu ambaye hapo ndani ya Kristo ambaye Yesu amefufuka ndani mwake huyo mtu sio kuchesea Are you kidding? Huyo mtu sio kufanya kazi. Sio mtu kuchesewa kwa sababu kani nguvu ambazo ziko ndani mwake ni nguvu za kipekee. There's power in the resurrection. Amen. Hallelujah. Kuna nguvu katika nini? Kufua. So that power will cause you to gain victory without a fight. Huda bikana na watu. Huda bikana na maisha yako ndani. Hauta bikana na maadui wao. Wacha nguvu za Bwana atikupikanie. Unapopikana na watu utaisha mapema. Unapomangana na watu utamalizika mapema. Simama imara wacha nguvu mwenyewe akupikanie. Kwa maana aliye ndani mwako ni mkubwa. Nguvu za Bwana ambazo ni kwa Yesu zingali ziko mpaka leo zitakutoa mahali huko unatarajia na zitakuingisha mahali tena huko umepanga na utainuka kwa kiwango kubwa na Ana sema ame, 
kushulukiwa kwa moja na Kristo.
Unyesha kwamba uliyaanza mwanzo safari ikakatikia kiti yake. Uliyaanza biashara katika mali ikakatika. Uliyaanza kusema nataka kutumikia Mungu katika mali ikarudi nyuma ikakatika. Kuonyesha kwamba vya kwanza adwe ni haribu. Kuonyesha vile vya kwanza adwe ni kata abipendete. But now there's a power. Na Yesu Mungu anaenda kufanya yote ambayo Adui alikuwa amekata hapo inaanza kuunganika mara tena. Bwana kuunganishe katika maono yao. Bwana kuunganishe katika ndoto zao. Ndio ndoto zao inasema zitaendelea. Mungu anakupatia mambo mapya. Hata kama mwanzo wa kwangu jaribika, mshiriki upekee the name of Jesus. Okay, mwanzo mpya na mshiriki wako. Na wakati Mungu anapokuwapatia mambo mapya, hiyo mambo mapya itaendelea tena. Atio ni friend atiku mambo ya kwanza. Lakini hii hapo mambo mapya itaendelea tena. Kwa maana ya receive the new beginning and how of new beginning. This is the power of new beginning. It is Kitu imetendeka hata kama ulikuwa na kazi kaisha, pendo kuna kitu Mungu 
anataka kufanya alitaka ile kazi itoke niposa kuletea kazi ya pesa nyingi alitaka ile kazi ufutwe niposa fungua mlango wa kipekee anasema tazama natengeneza njia tangwani mahali hakuna njia inatengenezwa mahali hakuna kitu kinapatikana mahali hakuna chochote utapata bwana kuna nguvu za kutenda amini nguvu za msalaba amini nguvu za ufufuo kwa maana Yesu anafufua yote ile kubwa kubwa ndani mwako itakufufuka tena haleluya amen yote ambayo ajue ile kwa kubwa ndani mwako inaenda kuishi mara tena utanisikia chochote ajue ile kunaangamiza katika chini yenu kutainoka mara tena chochote alimfanya sema tumemaliza hata kuje malizika yuelekea utikileta wale fukoni ni wala hizi uko mali kwa kutangaza matendo ya Bwana hata kama amesema tulizika kwa maana tumemaliza maambia bado mimi bado naishi nitafanya mapenzi ya Bwana na nitatangaza kuwa Bwana katika hichi ya walio hai haleluya tutatangaza matendo ya Bwana katikati walio hai hatutatangaza kwa hiyo kufa tunatangaza kwa hiyo hai bwana kumbe neema ukule neema katikati hichi katikati hiyo hai kwa baba na pesa kwao akweza pia tena anapoinua tumali pale akuinua ndani anapowabariki kubarikiwa pamoja na wengine ili kwamba uone wema wa bwana amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Watewa the enemies kid in your life. It must come back to life again. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10. The enemy comes only to kill, to steal and to destroy. But the son of man has come so that we can have life not just life abundance of life jo soma mali pale ukisema kitacho kitabu na kukua jo tete eh the thief comes not but to steal and to kill and to destroy eh the work of the enemy is to what to steal to kill and to destroy but the son of man came so that we can do what and more abundantly so the work of the enemy is to kill that's why i say whatever the enemy kills in your life must come back to life again ah kama ungekuwa mwingine ungekuwa umesema amen eh ninachoka kwa sababu nachoka nimesema kama ungekuwa mwingine umesema amen Kenya atulia na kuwa ndani mwako na sema kitaishi mara tena. Na Kenya ameipa lazima tarutisha. Amani yako lazima tarutisha. Kwa maana Kenya kimeipwa lazima kitarudishe mara tufu. Akitarudisha moja peke yake, kitarudisha moja baada ingine. Hiyo ni kazi ya Bwana ndani ya maisha yako. Kenya kimepotea lazima kenaenda kurudi tena. Ili resurrection then power of restoration. Katika ufufuo kuna nguvu ya urejesho hiyo mahitaji yako bwana anakurejeshe mara tena amani ya moyo pokea mara tena furaha ya maisha yako nasema pokea tena amani ya kazini nasema furahia bwana anarejesha ili waliwe na zige ili waliwe na tumoto ili waliwe na matumato bwana anarejesha ili waliwe na zige lazima mrejeshe haleluya maisha yetu itarejeshwa matumaini itarejeshwa mambo yetu yote bwana anarejesha anarejeshi moja tu anarejesha kwa wingi amen acha rejesha kwa wingi Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hata kama leshi chipili mchika tu yanaambia hivi. May God restore that leshi chipwa kenda na mama Jesus Christ. Amen. Nasema kama ulikuwa na uhusiano, ulipata mtu wa kuoa, ikavunjika. Kapata ngine ikavunjika. 
receive your restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No more destruction in your life. No more disappointment in your life. No more relief from frustration and no more setbacks in your life. May you be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever the enemy has told me, it must come back. And it was the beginning of the war. Yes, we are going to be free.
Yesu Kristo. Nashukuria Mungu. Kama Mungu hapa katika mtume mtoto wake sisi hatumekoa shida. Kama Yesu hapa alikuja hatujalikoa shida. Kwa maana saa hizi ukiangalia ile jamaa anachiita hiyo mtu anachiita Yesu atangarai. Na anashangaa utumishi wa Mungu. Bara market that that demon kometandao wapi direct hata mwingine anafanya kitu anaonyesha wamesulubisha is that one way of exalting the demonic work yote jamaa akasema yeye si sulubisha sahihi kwa maana hakuna mahali alisema atasulubisha mara pili alisema pasaka yake ni mwezo wa ngapi kwa sababu kwa maana watu walienda kwa roma pikipiki michana walimwambia kwa maana ni Yesu lazima tutausulubishe ana kisikiti anakuti kitabu ambazo hakuna kwa Biblia basi si ambazo hakuna kwa Biblia That's a satanic agent Ni huyo mtu anachiita Yesu na hizi zingaisha na Yesu wa mbinguni Ha hizi hata kama na vile ujiza ngani ngani za kisa hata fikia Yesu kwa jahani na vile tu ni Mungu anataka kuangushwe cha maa katika njia iliyo mbaya. Yesu asifiwe. Vile tu ndio mtu anachiita Yesu atongoreni, Mungu anataka kumwangusha dia mbaya. Because he is misleading the people of God. It is the church of Jesus Christ. But Mungu hata nyamaza kuona watu wanalitukana, kuona watu wanatendeza masanamu kwa njia nyingine ama kufananika. Mungu anasema afananishi na chochote wala alinganishi na chochote anasema utukufu wake hata shiriki na miungu mingine yote kwa miungu ni kasi ya mikono ya wanadamu yeye ni bwana wa bwana yeye ni mungu wa miungu yeye ni takatifu wa takatifu hakuna wakati atafananishwa hakuna wakati atalinganishwa matendo ya bwana inatisha ya wakanga matendo ya Yesu inatisha ya wachawi hakuna wakati mkanga amefua mtu hakuna wakati na kiongo amefua mtu Yesu peke yake yako na nguvu za kumaliza mauti za kumaliza kifo na kufanya watu waishi tena. Amen. Kama mwingine alikuwa anachiita mko wa wanyuma, mchogo wa wanyuma. Hapo hapo. Alipokufa kamficha, watakani watu wanafufuka. But God has shaped them. Hadi ingine hii, hii nyangalika ingine hii. Mungu anaenda ku strike me by sir. I pray God to strike that man. Na kwa kwa nafasi ya Yesu katika ulimwengu. Hata sisi watumishi wa Mungu, hata mko mtumike na mnakaa, uweze kuchukua nafasi ya Yesu. Kwa maana kwa miujiza basi kwa Yesu atuweze kufanya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndio unaona Paulo anasema na ashukuria Mungu wa Baba wa Yesu Kristo ambaye anatupatia nini? Ushindi ama anatupatia kushinda kwa njia ya nini? Ya Bwana Yesu Kristo. Kwa hiyo Yesu wewe kushinda adui ni kwa msaada wa Yesu. Wewe kufanikiwa ni kwa nguvu za Yesu. Wewe kubarikiwa sio kwa maana ni mzuri, bali kwa ajili ya neema Yesu Kristo aliyae. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So ukisoma text hiyo ni chapter 8 verse 17 18. 18 inasema wakati utakapofanikiwa usije ukachikama. Ukasema ni kwa nguvu zangu ndio imeleta utachini. Nguvu zangu ndio zimenifanikisha. Anasema hapana anasema ni kwa nguvu Yesu wewe kwa mali kwa malipo ni kwa nguvu za msato wa roho wewe usimama sio kwa nguvu zako Remember that is the Lord your God your Lord your God Lord your God Bwana Mungu wa eh who gives you the power to become rich to become rich, to become rich. wewe ufanye kufanikiwa kuna watu wamesoma they have degrees they have doctors they have diplomas na wewe una chochote but kwa kupata neema unapata mshahara mzuri mara sio usichipike kifo kasema Asikupitia hapo. Hapana. Sio kupitia. 
Yesu anasema in the book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 6 anasema therefore humble yourself before the mighty hand of the Lord Then anasema mutike yeye fadhabe zote kwa maana yeye anawashukulika ama anashukulika anasema mutike ili yeye fadhabe zote atakuinuka wakati wake na kwa maana tena anawashukulisha sana na mambo yenu hata kama mama anasema anashukulika kule yule ambaye anashukulika zaidi kuliko wewe Amen Hayo together somo mali pale Therefore humble yourself under the mighty hand of Jesus Christ our Lord the Lord Soma mali pale ni mapata First Peter chapter 5 verse 6 Love to take a seven
they will incite your members. Hiyo pasa achaina yeye. Hiyo pasa na utangani. Hiyo pasa kwa kosesi. Ni mtu iluminati, mtu makini. Mimi kaongoza nilisema kwamba ndio mechoka. Ndio mimi nimekoka kani. Umechoka na mimi. Ndio mimi naambiwa wasia kukuza hicho hapa toka mahali hapo. Sasa ngoja na upendo ya kuna hivi. Nitamaanisha. Sisi ndani ya huduma kwa ngoja, watu wameanza kuwa ni kimbao na kwanza kwa mtu wa kusema ndio. So, ndio nasema the church we need the power. Bila bila kuna mengi Mungu atapikia wachungaji kwenye hapo. You can not be a pastor but God can give you power to perform miracle. God can give you power to lay a hand on a sick people and get healed. God can give you power to pray for people and God will answer the prayers. So usiitie ukasema anasema kwa na pindi uko na nguvu, anasema kwa mchungaji no. You yourself if you believe in the power, you receive that power. What is your secret? Do not neglect the power of the Holy Spirit. Ask Jesus to feed you, to empower you, to strengthen your face, so that you can stand and overcome the enemy. You can stand and overcome the attacks of the enemy. Or see the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't want to get to the point of my mind. I don't want to get to the point of my mind. What is it? What is it? Na kusema mama sema na nasema ah hata kama mimi nasema na mimi mimi naacha uongozi Ujue mtu acha uongoka Wewe na kwa nini sasa na 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 nini Mawe inapigwa mmoja ambaye kuna nini na matunda. Wewe ukiwa na matunda tarajia kujoroshwa. Na unapojoroshwa hawatakuweza. Jesus is there to overcome all schemes that we got the enemy that's working against you. Hallelujah. Through the power of Jesus Christ you will overcome the weapon of the devil. Isaiah chapter 17 Every weapon falls against me. Never prosper. Kila sila iyo yuka wangu haita malikiwa. Na kila olimi itaka iluka kuni ukumu. Yuri kiswaili, na osoma kibili ya kiswaili. Na inaendelea. Na kini muna zamaka tu, muna pere tu kusama wipo. Na masipi ulimi. Na zamaka kila saita ino kaito wesi. Kuhuji ya maniza ya kusari. Inasema na kila uli. Itakae iluka kuni ukumu. Ita iukumu kwa mkofa. Kwa sababu ni yani. Nini. Nimorisi. Kwa mkofa. Nini. Mkwitu wa kwa. Nini. Ita mwata na kristo. Asema kwa na mungu. Mamajishi. So mamalipa. Kwa mkwitu wa kingereza. Sikia, pari na pokea, ya kufanywa wana. 